welcome to Sunday. So, no homework, <laughs> but well, like no like self-guided study sheets or stuff like that. But my homework is instrumentation. We have this type of dot we got, they're like old, but they have cheeks. And unfortunately they are missing with my team, but um, whatever. And then you can see like the canines are like not, they're like worn down and stuff. So it's not like a great, but it was like, we didn't pay for this one. This was just given to us to use. Ooh, excuse my ashy hands. Oh, so sorry. I've been like looking at the type of knot the whole time, but I'm going to use this one because it more like approximates like a human kind of than our nice little fancy one we got. This one though. We need to be practicing probing over this break because we're not going to be in class hands-on instruments until November 30th. So like quite a while. And one of the things we're jumping into is probing. So I'll use my nice one that I bought to probe. And these teeth are removable. This one is like definitely like more useful for the anatomy aspect. The other day, in fact, we were in um, anatomy and we were being asked questions about tooth root morphology, cause whatever. And it was like the first premolar normally has, mandibular premolar normally has one or two roots. And so it was nice to just pick it up, you know, and see. Or was it, might've been maxillary premolar or something, I don't know. When I was practicing with my loops um, the last time though, it was hurting, like I had a headache. So I don't know how long I'm gonna be able to instrumentate, instrumentate? That doesn't sound right. Instrumentate? I don't know how long I'm gonna be able to practice instrumentation. <laughs> if like my head hurts, I'll just take a break, I guess. I don't really wanna start taking a bunch of ibuprofen to like counteract that. I think it would be smarter to just like, if I feel a headache coming on, just kinda of, like back off, you know what I mean? Like, cause um, the problem is loops are like specially measured to your working distance. And the fact that, I guess this angle is maybe to your working distance, I don't really know. I just know it's measured. And the fact that when I'm on my typodont, it's like, here's where I'm sitting. Like here's the, the counter, right? So it's not, far, it's not like far enough down. I wanna say, don't quote me, please do not quote me. I wanna say my working distance is something like 19 inches, but you can tell that what I just showed you was like not 19 inches, like from, here to that counter, you know, if these glasses are on. No worries, I'll make it work. Ooh, these are, ooh, should it be doing that? Can y'all see that? It's like the arm is going up and down. Like, should the arm be moving up and down like that? Cause he will fix them, I tell you what, he gonna come over here. Okay, maybe that's normal. Hmm. Anyway, definitely like having loops, but not like, I definitely love having loops, but, um, Definitely am also still getting used to them, but um, they're really awesome. Really, really awesome. I, <laughs> I, I cannot imagine where you as a hygienist will be coming from if you have used loops and then you are just choose not to use them. I'm like, so you just don't care about your patients, right? Cause you can't, <laughs> you can't see. You cannot see the same way without loops that you can with loops. And it's just a fact, it's magnification. So that you just don't care to see what you're doing or what? I don't, I'm talking about people who use them. Like if you don't know what you're missing, that's that's fair, right? You don't know what you don't know. But for somebody who's used loops and then it's like, no, I'm not gonna use them. I'm like, mm, okay, okay. You do you, I guess. Well, you absolutely do you. The way I'm gonna start though, is I'm going to write down what sequence I wanna do the teeth in, like literally what instrument I wanna pick up, what tooth, what surface, because I think if I'm having the loops on, right, it's not gonna be, I don't wanna be, I don't wanna be overwhelmed. I wanna know, hey, here's a list of what I'm doing. Boom, 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 just practice it. So making that list will probably take me, you know, 10 minutes or something. So yeah, that's me for now. I had, um, <laughs> this morning, I have made that peanut butter and banana, whatever roll up from the Skinny Taste Simple cookbook. I have made it oh, conservatively, 15 times, conservatively 15 times. It's just like so delicious and I'm constantly making it. And also, I don't know if you remember, I posted a couple of videos back where I like was making one super early in the morning. I don't know why. And it was like undercooked. I was using the 
Aldi store brand protein like pancake mix. And in the Skinny Taste cookbook, she says she likes Kodiak cake or birch vendors, I want to say. But like she just said, you know, protein pancake mix. So I just bought the one from Aldi. But it's not the same. The Kodiak cake is way different. It cooks more consistently. It cooks like it cooks like you would expect it. It felt like the Aldi one was like it would be like how is like I, you know I think the video I was like how has it been cooking for ten minutes but it's still raw like how does that happen how is it possible but the the Kodiak cake doesn't do that you just it just I don't know, it just works so let me stop rambling and get to work bye. Well, 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 you see how my day has been going. I was instrumenting, instrumentating. <laughs> I don't never know the way to word to the right word, but I was practicing my instrumentation and now I'm going to move on to oral anatomy. That's actually, in my opinion, way more important than this. Oh God, since, hold on. Okay, not like way more important than this in general, but like where I'm at in space and time. The being that we have a, an exam in 48 hours, 46 hours, it's actually more important. However, I don't want to just not practice instrumentation. I'm not going to be on campus for over a week with a real person. And that's even including I have to go on campus for a mock like eval because I've already failed twice and if you fail three times that's it and so my clinical lead is going to meet with me and hopefully get a second year student to be like my mentor actually to be my patient so I was practicing what I'm going to be evaled on on I believe it's the 28th I want to say next week is going to be a pretty big week I'll have that to go to campus for I also have my extra credit that I'm doing for anatomy which briefly the extra credit it's good for one percentage point on our overall grade i think that you can look at that as a bad thing or you can have your qualms about it or whatever but if we think about where i'm at i have a 74 in the class let's actually put it like this if i get a 74 on everything going forward no lower than a 74 i do the extra credit i pass the class right so it's actually pretty like pretty meaningful for me like it literally is the difference between passing and failing as long as I don't get like lower than a 74 so that's really my goal now um we have one test in two days and we have one final and my goal is to just not get lower than a 74 that's just what it is don't get lower than 74 now I didn't think I was going to get lower than a 74 on this last one so yeah uh, Monday usually a work day and I think that right about now right after Thanksgiving is gonna be what people call like peak, peak season, P-E-A-K. And that's like a heavier season because people are buying shit, sending shit from, you know, Black Friday over to Christmas. It's maybe peaking now, I'm not really sure. So long story short, I might be going to work a ton more. Obviously this week, we're definitely off Thursday. I don't know if we're off Friday also. I'll see. I'm gonna get to my anatomy before I lose my nerves. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hi, I'm back from work and I got a really wonderful surprise when I check my mail. When I was like younger, what well, we're talking about when I was younger, I like obsessed with the mail. I love the mail. I have like informed delivery, like I'm like Willis Clues. Like it's the mail, it never, you know, Willis Clues. I got a little, I got some, the best mail of ever, mailbox money. I got a little something from Nielsen. You know, Nielsen, they always good for a couple bucks. Joke's on them. I ain't got no damn TV. <laughs> I can't even do what you want me to do. Actually, it's 2023. We probably got some streaming options. Are they gonna pay for the streaming? If they pay for it, well, <laughs> y'all know me. They probably saw my videos. <laughs> They're like, this bitch is always watching TV. What is this? Come follow me on Instagram. Are they putting ads on the dollars now? Not like, you know, the US government, but somebody put their Instagram handle on the dollar. Why y'all doing that? Is anybody gonna go follow them? If you go on there, let me know what it looks like. It says, 
beautiful day. Elegant and exotic. Hold on. That might be a stripper account. Maybe don't go on that on your work computer. But yeah, I got me $2. Thank you, Jesus. Let's see what they want me to do. Please have an adult complete the survey, return it in a stamped envelope. Freedom. Beautiful. They see it because we appreciate your time. We'll send you an additional $5 in cash. Do you know how fast I'm going to feel? <laughs> Do you know how fast I'm going to fill this out? Baby, $7. They actually sent this to the perfect person. Because I know y'all been thinking this bitch don't never stop watching TV. Because <laughs> that's what I'm thinking when I'm editing. They want to get personal. Do I have a landline? What? Do I even have a T? Is, it, is one of the questions, do you have a TV? Hold on. Anyway. Yeah, I'm going to do this little survey. Take my little shower. Eat some little food. And take my little last to bed. Bye. Oh, fuck. I keep forgetting. Tomorrow, I'm going to campus annoying and i'm gonna meet with my professor annoying about exam three since i'm on my remediation plan my cuticles are like so jacked there we go because i'm remediation plan i agreed to meet with my teacher or like not agreed she didn't t tell me to meet like her and the department chair like presented a bunch of things that i could do and i was just basically like whatever i'll do them all like you don't need to convince me like i want to be here i want to I want to be in the program like tomorrow I'm going to campus I, I think I've like stopped didn't finish my sentence I'm going to campus I'm gonna meet with the professor one of the other things I said I was gonna do is go to the library like I told them in the meeting I don't really see the point in going to the library to look at the materials because those are 3d we're not tested in a 3d manner if we were tested in a 3d way I think it would be super important to use those study materials like but I don't I'm gonna do it again but I don't think it's important we're not tested in a 3d way so what is going to the library and looking at 3d stuff gonna help me with explain it <laughs> it don't matter that's what i'm gonna do so got an early morning i'm supposed to meet her at 11. talk to you later hey today i went to campus to meet with my professor asked her a couple questions about the exam got some good info about kind of um where the test would be focused and we just kind of touched on some things and the intention was to go to the library and like look at the skulls or and stuff for like nerves and bones and stuff like that like the stuff we're getting tested over tomorrow but i didn't know you had to like physically have your student id so i couldn't check them out yeah maybe i should have known that maybe that's like a rookie mistake i don't know but you have to physically have your card if you want to take those items to like a room and study them which and if I had like come home and got my card, it would have taken me like half an hour to get here. And then a half an hour back, so that'd be one hour. And then I would have to drive home, obviously that'd be an hour and a half. And it just didn't seem worth it. Cause like, I think I did say like, we're not tested in a 3D way. Like if we were tested in a 3D way, like if we were tested in lab, we were walking around identifying things on real skulls or something. That will make 100% sense, duh, right? <laughs> but we're being tested on a computer, so I don't know. It's like I'm, t I'm studying images that we are presented with in our book and things I'm finding online. I hope I hope I do well. It's going to be focused a lot on nerves. Yeah, I just hope I do well. I have like a lot on my plate for this last part of the semester. So I'm trying to think about that. I'm just trying to think about this exam and like, take it slow because seriously, there is a lot to come. But I'm not worried about it again, not worried about it, just worried about this test. So I, if you can tell, I'm home pretty early from work, which is lovely. I am um, gonna get my shower, take out the recycling and I'll be in for the night, study some more. And then we do have class, um, free clinic lecture tomorrow morning at uh, nine o'clock to 12. Then we have our hour break as normal. And then we have our anatomy test. So full day tomorrow, probably be going to work. We don't work on Thursday, obviously, because it's Thanksgiving. I'm not doing anything for Thanksgiving, but like I have to tomorrow. I really have to like go out and get like some food because like Thanksgiving. That's the one thing I hate about holidays. I, I don't mind holidays. Like I like I love Christmas and you know Thanksgiving, whatever. It's fine. I hate how everything's closed. Like <laughs> I don't want to go, you know. I need to go to the store and it would be great to do it on Thanksgiving because I don't have to go to work and I have to go to school, you know, 
everything's gonna be closed. So tomorrow, after I take my test, I'm gonna have to go to the store. And it's not gonna really be great. It doesn't really fit into my <laughs> to my schedule. But again, the test was important. I'm gonna stop rambling and go get my stuff done for the night so that I can get the studying done and make it an early night. I was really tired before I went to work. You know what I was thinking? Am I, this might be way out of left field. Maybe I'm like tired all the time because I had um, COVID? I don't know. I can't remember if I was tired like this before COVID. I don't know. Just something to think about. Anyway, bye. It's a good morning. Just gonna cut straight to the chase. I'm extremely nervous about this test. The test is at one o'clock. I have class in about half an hour for three hours, one hour break, and I'm nervous. I said I'm nervous. Um, yeah, I just, I thought last time I was gonna do way better than I did, so. I feel like when you think you're gonna do well and you don't, it's like you don't really know where to, where you, you don't even know where you are. So I'm like, I don't know. I'm not gonna say I think I'm gonna do well because I thought I was gonna do well last time. So I don't know what's gonna happen. <sighs> I guess I'll see. I guess we'll all see. All right, so we're done with preclinic theory lecture for the day. I have like an hour and 15 minutes till the test opens. And um, yeah. I'm just gonna keep studying. That's it, I'm just cramming at this point. I feel, like I said, so nervous. I don't feel any better. I feel like I know nothing. I feel like uh, I feel like I know nothing. I don't know. I'll see what happens. Hey, welcome. So I just got home from work and actually the grocery store, I just ran to get a couple things. Just one second. <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna unbox unbox i'm just gonna what is it called when you i don't know like a grocery haul it's not like a grocery haul i mean maybe it's like a thanksgiving it's like a, i'm not cooking anything for thanksgiving i'm not going anywhere for thanksgiving i don't know if i want to call in that chinese food order or not so here's what i got but briefly i want to talk about the test so i did not do very good at all i got another d after i did it right after i took the test i thought i failed but there's like some writing questions and then I guess some questions that were presented incorrectly. I think this is the terminology of the teacher you Oh, whoops, that's what I'm showing you guys. Uh, I got some yummy mango chobani full fat. What was it, full fat? Oh, reduced fat, that's okay. It has fat in it, yogurt, Greek yogurt. And then same here, it's probably a 2%. I think it used to say 2% and they must've just changed it to say reduced fat. But then spice holiday, nog i don't know i guess it's supposed to be eggnog I, I never really had eggnog eggnog has alcohol in it right that's like part of eggnog and if you don't put alcohol that's 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 like that's that's a special way right like most people if you say eggnog it's alcohol right i don't i don't drink it i'm drinking eggnog Ugh. anyway i did get a kombucha which some people may say is alcohol i think it has a little bit in it let's see i don't know but it's local that's pretty cool I've had one of these before, I'm pretty sure. Excuse my nails. I just came from work and I, I need to cut them. I'm really sorry. I, I truly am. Like, I know it's disgusting. It's because even though I have on gloves, like the nastiness of the warehouse gets underneath them. So I know it's nasty. I'm sorry. But anyway, um, never had this or this kombucha, but I like hibiscus and raspberry's not bad either. And it's seasonal. So why not? I think I need to start making kombucha again because the prices on kombucha, <laughs> they're really funny. Let me tell you how much this little... 12 ounce bottle of kombucha costs. They're really funny. $3.49. I could make a whole batch of kombucha for like $10. And that would be getting so many different types of fruits and juices and stuff to make like a bunch of flavors. One time I made a copycat recipe of the trilogy, like the kind of the GTs, probably if you've ever tried a kombucha. You might have tried this one and it was really like similar and really good like i don't love trilogy as a flavor because i think there's so many better like gps out there like they're that's like such a starter one but it you know it was good when i made it so i'd make that one again anyway got some sherbet um i was gonna buy this uh other brand it was like sorbet and then i saw that and i got an old standby i was just commenting on this girl's youtube channel she was saying that she had an amy's this is the amy's my this is my favorite amy's for sure but Amy, she really don't miss. I could have probably got any Amy's and it would have been good. Like, it's just good. And then I got some mini naan and to go with the naan. 
I got this little meal, which is delicious. Butter chicken meatballs. Um, it's only like three meatballs, but they are big, big, big meatballs. It, it works out perfect. Um, I forgot to look at the date. Is this, oh, this one here. Yeah, that's all I got. But yeah, the test, I didn't get a good grade. I got a D, another D. But my average actually did go up. And, but if I don't do well on this next final, which is cumulative, I didn't really want to talk about it. I didn't really want to talk about it now, but I was like, well, if I don't talk about it now, I'm going to have to talk about it tomorrow. And tomorrow's Thanksgiving. I'm not going to talk about it tomorrow, so then I'll have to talk about it Friday. And then on Friday, I don't go to school, but I probably have to go to work. That's just my luck. And then I'm not going to want to come talk about it on Friday. You see what I'm saying? So I decided to come here now. I'm going to put all my groceries away, take my shower. Oh, I think I didn't finish my thought. When I finished the test, I thought I got an F and I had a breakdown, a meltdown. I was crying, snot was everywhere. It was, it was bad. It was really bad. And um, I think it took a lot out of me. I should address this. This is covering the hydroponic garden. Here, look, let me show. Okay, so here's what we're working with. What I did was I planted these in stages because some of them were super slow growing. I guess the slow growing ones are the ones that currently have, you know, sprouts or whatever. The sage, the rosemary, I decided to like plant those first and wait till they come up and then plant the other ones. Like I know basil, grows really fast let's see yep see look it's already got sprouts in it I put it there like two days ago I think I did chai no chives was an old one that didn't really sprout and it's still having some trouble oh you can't see it but it's, it's probably not gonna work which sucks because chives would be nice to have maybe I'll try another one dill doesn't seem to be working which again would be a nice one to have thyme oh thyme is doing pretty good maybe I should undo it yeah I'll undo it oregano Oregano's trying, but I kind of want to keep it on. I kind of want to keep that one on, but I think this little sticker, this helps the little, oh yeah, and this one I just planted, which is spearmint. It hasn't come up yet, but it grows like a weed. But this helps the little brown part not get like nasty algae on it. Hello, happy belated Thanksgiving. Thanks have been given, the fun is over. No school today, which we love, but more than likely have to work tonight. That's just my luck. I worked Wednesday and the way that like our job works is if you want holiday pay, you have to work the day before and the day after, like you can't be absent. I already went Wednesday, obviously. So if I like don't go today, like if I do go today, it's kind of like getting paid double, right? Like I'm getting paid for yesterday and today if I go today. So it would be really kind of stupid to not go. Cause like I'm never there for like more than three hours. Really, not really. It's even on a Friday, especially on a Friday. I guess though, I guess it's peak season now. Today probably is the start of peak season. So it could be super long. I mean, I doubt it, but. We'll see. Earlier this week before my test, I knew that I had a ton of stuff on the schedule, but I didn't want to think about it because it was just going to overwhelm me. Yes, but now the schedule. Tuesday, I'm going to go to campus for a mock evaluation of my Gracie curates, my area specific curates, because I have failed the eval twice. Okay. Then at one o'clock, I have my cleaning, the actual cleaning with my second year. And the way that we Think this might work is that I do my mock evaluation on my second year at noon. I'm also that same day I'm gonna have to go to my anatomy class or to my anatomy's like teacher's lab hours and I'm gonna have to do not gonna have to like I'm doing a like, an extra credit assignment so that's also on Tuesday and then on Thursday of next week so like less than a week from now that's when I'm gonna do my actual re-evaluation for the Gracie Curates. <sighs> oh my gosh. I also have to do a quiz and a self-guided study on primary and mixed intention. This seems, I haven't looked at the material, this seems like an extremely simple like material. Like I expect to sit down, look at this SGS, look at this quiz and be like knocking it out. Like I, that's what I expect. I could be totally wrong. Um, I don't know why I expect that. I did not do well on the first time <laughs> we were taught, you know, uh, test over teeth, even though it was just permanent dentition. So those are due Tuesday of next week. And I also have to do, which is, this is really, really, really important. I have to do a like video of me, like giving, I think oral health information to a, like a fake person that's due on the 29th. So that's due on Wednesday at 9 a.m. So it's due on Tuesday. And then another thing that's due on Tuesday is a quiz on medical emergencies. So if you're counting, let's see, that's one, two, 
three, four, five, six, six pretty, pretty big things that I have coming up here. And yeah, um, what I don't want to do is be standing here on Tuesday saying, oh yeah, you know, X, Y, Z is due and I haven't done it. What I want to do is spend this time, like literally just do the, for the next five hours, just do homework, do it all. I could probably get it all done. The SGS, the self-guided study and the um, quiz, I don't expect to take more than an hour. Again, I haven't looked at it. Then you have um, very, very minor things. So, or even if I just like made a script for the video, right? Because I'm going to be filming something. So like if I just plan it out, don't film it today, I'll call that a win. Like, and then I go to work today and then I come home and then I'm like done with everything. I can just focus on my editing my video tomorrow, cleaning, cooking, getting my shit together. That would be amazing. So if it would be amazing, why not make it happen? All right, that's what I do. So I'll check in later. Hi, so I'm back from work, but... I didn't work. <laughs> like I'm supposed to start at 6.30. By 6.30, I hit the door on the way out. So I was like on time early today. And my boss was like, what time do you wanna leave? I'm like, ASAP, you got stuff to do, studying to do, instrumentation to do. And he's like, you can leave now. He's like, I'm sorry I didn't take you on that long day or something like that. I was like, it's fine. I'm like, I'm not gonna complain about a night off, okay? A win is a win. As I get older, I'm definitely like always finding the positive in something. So if the positive is it's 8.30, not even, and I'm at home done for the night. I didn't work up a sweat and I already went to, and the reason it took me so long to get back is like I went to uh, Sam's, got some gas, walked around to Sam's for like 15, 20 minutes. And then somehow, instead, instead of just taking the same way back, like just backtracking to come home, I decided to use my GPS and it took me like, <laughs> crazy way and you know i can't go on the highway it was like this is a highway google i'm really tired but i'm gonna do some instrumentation and um after that honestly probably hit the bed pretty early it means i'll have an early day tomorrow early night tomorrow you know how the cycle goes oh i guess homework update i did all my anatomy homework i did my quiz and my uh self-guided study but i gotta do my youtube video and my two clinic assignments and just more instrumentation so i'm gonna get the rest of my night going Talk to you guys later. Uh, good morning. I am on my way to return some scrubs. Like I did never, okay, I never planned to like wear the same brand of scrubs after school that I wore in school. Like that was never the plan. I just wanted some scrubs to get through school, right? But then like I started caring about what my scrubs look like because, oh, they're so fucking dumb. Jesus Christ. Because like everybody else looks so cute. You know the pressure self-imposed pressure let's be clear oh you're gonna hit the ducks oh my god you're gonna kill them oh my god this guy's gonna kill the ducks he didn't kill the ducks oh my gosh and now the duck is like there's more ducks they're scared now look let me show you guys can you guys see the ducks see the ducks okay let me go while i have a second come on probably couldn't see there was two more ducks on the other side <laughs> oh my god okay the scrubs i got were a jogger that would match two of the tops I already have in my closet which would like be nice to get wear out of stuff that I don't even know if I've worn one time no I've worn one of them once but one of them I've never even worn because it really doesn't the fabric is different than what I'm wearing now like I'm wearing um a mostly poly blend I think it's polyester rayon spandex the joggers i bought were cotton based there's really there's really no point to this story besides to say i'm taking back some scrubs and then i also have to put some clothes in the mail that i got from fruit of the loom i got like some sweaters and sweatpants but some of them didn't work right that's about it and i'm done with this camera it's irritating me so i'll check in with y'all later here comes the sun bye hi excuse my bed not being made i went out this morning also got some donuts got three total so two extra because I, I mean i guess i could eat three donuts at one time but why would i do that before i left i was trying to make coffee but for as far as my creamer goes hear that it's like one tablespoon left when i need two tablespoons i went to one cub they were out empty spot on the shelf i went to another grocery store bougie grocery store lund they need to have a spot for it but what they did have was this used to be called kashi go lean crunch i'm pretty sure they changed it to just, I guess, Kashi Go, but it was honey almond flax. And then it's yes, yeah, crunch. This is so good. This feels so good. It is so calorie heavy. Three quarters of a cup is 200 calories. That's crazy. 
has a ton of sugar. Yeah, 10 grams added sugar, a ton of sugar, but it's delicious. Oh, only thing about it too is I like my cereal uh, soft. This, you gotta let it soften for like a good 15 minutes, but I love it, it's delicious. In addition to that, I do have this bread. I don't know if you guys have this app in your where you're from, but we have this app called Too Good To Go, and you can get food that like the store is about to throw out at the end of the day. And I got totally scammed by this restaurant. What they gave me was four pieces of bread. I ate one just to see like what it tasted like. The price I paid was, I think it was $4. It could have been $5, it was either four or $5. And it said the value was $12. So you mean to tell me that this restaurant is selling these breads for $3 a piece? or something. I don't know the math, cause I'm not good at math, but the math wasn't mathing, put it like that. But the bread was good, right? So I got the soups, Minnesota wild rice and chicken. You could definitely eat that with some bread. Black bean and chorizo, might just have that on its own. These are on sale too. Tomato basil, you could definitely have that with some, some bread. And then garlic mushroom, again, also with bread. They were on sale for three bucks a piece, which was a decent saving. They have uh, microwave and stove instructions on them. I've never had these soups. They had a nice selection though. I'm, I think they're probably pretty popular. Lund is like a uh, famous grocery store here. It's very bougie. They have carpet in there. I don't know why. <laughs> but anyway, uh, oh, what I wanted to say was I'm feeling very anxious. And I know the only way to not feel anxious is to do homework. Like that's it. So I think this what happened earlier in the week or maybe it was last week, last vlog. So I'm gonna just do homework. I don't have any anatomy and physiology homework to do, which is like wild. <laughs> All I have to do is my two assignments for theory, which is like a, that oral health presentation. Then I have another little thing I need to do, but it's fully computer based. I could literally do it in an hour and a half. So I'm not gonna really worry about that. Oh look, my lamp just came on for my, my plant. And I will see you guys later. Bye.